You ready to read the next story with me, honey? Oh, you're such a good girl, aren't you? Well, today I've selected another story from the collection of stories called The Boy and the Tiger by Pi Corbett. And the story that we're going to read you today is called Pumpkin. Why don't you, as you're listening, think of some questions that you could ask just to check how well people at your house understand what's happened to the story. There was once a little old lady who was very, very old because she'd seen many, many years and very, very skinny because she didn't have enough to eat. But she did have two dogs. How she loved her two dogs. She used to wake up every morning and say, Oh, Harry. Oh, honey. What would I do without you? That's what she used to say. Do I say that to you as well? One thing this little old lady loved was getting something through the post and it wouldn't have been bones for a doggy, I don't think. One morning a letter came through the door and she was very, very excited. How excited was she for me? Very, very, that's right. It's my daughter's handwriting. Let's see. She tore open the envelope. Dear Mum, said the letter, I'm getting married. Please come. There will be lots of food and lots of dancing. Love from your daughter. P.S. Sorry, no dogs. No dogs? Did you hear that? No dogs, honey. Mm. Oh dear, Harry. Oh dear, honey. Will you stay and look after the house? What are you doing? You would look after the house, wouldn't you? Woof, said Harry. Grrr, woof, said Honey. Good dogs, said the little old lady. That must be me then, I must be the little old lady. And off she went through the dark forest to her daughter's wedding. But because she was very, very old and very, very skinny, she went very, very slowly. Suddenly, out of the forest, like a flaming red arrow, came Mr. Fox. Little old lady, he sniffed, shaking his bristling tail and flaring his sniffling nostrils. I'm going to eat you now. Oh, please don't eat me now, said the old lady, her voice quavering and her eyes popping. Because I'm on my way to my daughter's wedding, well, there'll be lots of food. And right now, I'm very, very skinny, but on my way back, I'll be very, very fat. Eat me on the way back. What did she say to the fox? Eat me on the way back. Why did she say that? Because she'll be very, very fat. Sniff, sniff, bristled Mr. Fox. All right, I'll eat you on the way back. Yes, I will. Oh, thank you. That's a lovely honey kiss. And off he shot into the forest like a whiz-bang rocket. Oh dear, that was close, said the little old lady. And off she went, not quite so slowly. Until out of the forest, like a burst of golden light, came Mr. Lion. Rawr, I'm going to eat you now, little old lady. He roared, showing his sharp teeth. Honey, show me your sharp teeth. Where are your sharp teeth? You haven't got any, are they? They're not too sharp. Oh, please don't eat me now, said the little old lady, her knees shaking and her teeth chattering. What was she saying? <laughs> don't eat me now. Because I'm on my way to my daughter's wedding and right now I'm very, very skinny. Join in if you remember what's going to happen. But on my way back, I'll be very, very fat. Eat me on the way back. Grrr. All right then, said Mr. Lion, I'll eat you on the way back. And off he slunk into the forest like a sulky lump of custard. A sulky lump of custard, honey. What do you think to that? Oh dear, oh dear, said the little old lady, and she went a little faster. Suddenly, out of the dark forest, like an ambling line of brown, appeared Mrs. Bear. I'm going to eat you now, little old lady. 
growled Mrs. Bear, scratching the air with her long, sharp claws. Oh, please don't eat me now, said the little old lady, her heart pounding and her blood fizzing. What's she going to say next? Because I'm on my way to my daughter's wedding, and right now I'm very, very skinny. But on my way back, I'll be very, very fat. Eat me on my way back. Okay, said Mrs. Bear, and off she whiffled. Oh, I love that word, whiffled. She was whiffling off into the forest like a woolly fur ball. The little old lady went on her way. She did a happy skip when she heard the beat of the music, smelled the sweetness of the food, and saw her daughter's house in the distance. Once she was at the wedding, she jived and bopped and wriggled and jiggled and rocked, and then she said, Excuse me, excuse me, as she squeezed past the guests. Excuse me, excuse me, as she squeezed past the bride and groom. I'm just going to get a bite. Oh, that looks nice. I'll have one of those. Mmm, delicious. Two of those. Oh, yummy. And maybe ten of those. Oh, all mine. She ate and she ate and she ate and she ate. She ate for one day. She ate for two days. She ate for three days. And after three days, she was no longer very, very skinny. She was very, very fat. Oh, daughter, she said, I've had a lovely time, but I probably won't see you again because on my way home, I'll either be eaten by Mrs. Bear or Mr. Lion or Mr. Fox. But don't you worry about me, dear. I've had a lovely life. Oh, mum, said her daughter and took her into the garden where there was a gigantic pumpkin. She took a knife and she sliced the pumpkin three times, side, down, across, and made a door. Inside, she put a chair. She put a mother on the chair and a tray of sweets on her mother's lap. And then, a one, a two, a three, whack! She gave the pumpkin an almighty slap and off it rolled down the road with the little old lady inside, holding on to her chair and her sweets. Whee! She giggled, and she bounced up and down. Whee! She chuckled. You're falling asleep, aren't you? As she flew around and round, until the paw of Mrs. Bear made the pumpkin come to a sharp stop. Inside, the little old lady bit her lip and whispered, Oh dear. Mrs. Bear sniffed at the pumpkin. She walked around the pumpkin. She scratched at the pumpkin, tasted it, and, yuck, she spat it out. I don't like pumpkin. A one, a two, a three, whack! Off it went down the road with the little old lady inside. Whee! she cried until the claw of Mr. Lion made the pumpkin come to a sharp stop. The little old lady screwed her face up very, very tight. Can you screw your face up very, very tight? Oh dear, she said. Mr. Lion sniffed. He walked. He scratched. He tasted. And yuck, he roared. Don't like pumpkins. A one, a two, a three, a whack. Off it went down the road with a little old lady inside. Whee! she cried until the nose of Mr. Fox made the pumpkin come to a sharp stop. Mr. Fox sniffed once, sniffed twice, smiled a slow Mr. Fox smile and sneered. Old lady, get out of the pumpkin. The little old lady stamped her foot and pulled a face. I don't want to be eaten, she said crossly to herself. Would you like to see a picture of the little old lady in the pumpkin? There we go. But when she opened the door of the pumpkin, she smiled a little old lady smile and said, Mr. Fox, could I just have one little old lady request? Could I sing a little song before you eat me? 
My two doggies, can you hear me? The fox is going to eat me. You'd better come quick. My two doggies, can you hear me? I'm so frightened I'm going to be sick. My little doggy, can you hear me? No, nope, she's fast asleep. Up jumped Harry, up jumped Honey, and they came barking. They came wagging, they came howling, and chased Mr Fox into the forest, and he was never seen again. Back by the fire in her little old house, the little old lady said, Oh, Harry, oh, Honey, what would I do without you? Now I've saved some sweets for my daughter's wedding. Sit, that one's for you, Harry. That one's for you, honey, and one for me. Mm -mm. And as far as I know, they're chewing still. I hope you enjoyed that. See you next time. Bye-bye from me. Bye-bye from honey. Oh, she's fast asleep.